Because I'm always tipping up in there to support yes, your Yes, yes, you are. You guys really do support me, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, come out and hang out with us at Onyx. It's always a good time. Good drinks. Mm -hmm. Good catfish. Hey. Oh, yeah, the food good is delicious. Wine, good chicken wine. And you, are, you know, you don't know this, but you are my grandmother's number one single. I love she her. Said we had to see you every Wednesday. Oh, she told me. I said, what? When she she, she went the last time. She said, I told her I was going to find me a wife. She said, how about every other Wednesday? Okay. I said, okay, I do every other Wednesday. That's not Diva, but I was saying, Dagan, what hair she got today? Right. Yeah. You switch up our hair. I'm sorry. She got some long hair, short hair. Okay. But you know, I, 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 I just, we're a big fan of you. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're like family to us because uh, when my, my father died, you know. You were there for us. You came and you yeah. saw it. So, she did. She tore it up. So, you and y'all, our family, we've been knowing each other for so long, and I just, hey, ride that. Yeah, whenever we have events, we all, you go all, make sure that Karma Hicks is going to be here. <laughs> I love it. You got to get in, you got to get in. You got to get in. Absolutely. So, let's talk about, we got about 10, 15 more minutes. Let's talk about this passion again uh, that you have. Uh, you know, I like to talk about people, passion, and hunger for whatever they do. So let's talk about this passion and this hunger about your singing that you have and, and this feeling that you can't get rid of. You know what, I, I have to go back to one of my favorite movies and that's Sister Act 2. Mm -hmm. And what the Goldberg told Lauren Hill, if you wake up in the morning and all you can do is hear a song, you're supposed to be singing. Mm -hmm. And every morning I get up, since I was a little girl, I could just hear music. That's the start of my day. It is not me singing, it's the radio on, or it's just a song in my head. So it's always music. Um, for me, music is a healer. You know, whenever you're going through something, whether it's good or bad, um, it's always that one song that speaks to your soul or speaks to you. So, um, when you just have it, you just have to go. You know, you're going to have some stumbling blocks or whatever. Like right now, I'm working on something and I'm not, you know, like I said, you move it in silence, but I know it's going to pan out the way that you shoot it. Um, but you just got to give it your all. Yeah. You well, I tell you what, when you get your golden ticket, don't forget about it. Oh, you know I ain't going to forget about the ones that's been down. I see you at the top. Okay. I know, that's right. Because yeah. there's too many people at the bottom. So, uh, you said music is a healer. Music is the universal language. And, 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 and uh, I was about your journey and what you're doing right now. Don't speak too soon, but my grandmother prayed the other day uh, for an individual in our family. She said, I was on the phone. And I was looking at her. She said, me and your auntie was on the phone. We was tearing on the phone. I was like, girl. And we was praying, and we was sha ba 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 And she said, after we got through praying, and sha ba 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 she said, I knew everything was going to be all right. Mm -hmm. So you just pray about your journey yeah. and your dream, yeah. and you do the work. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. Let God take care of all that stuff. Right. You do your part, and I promise you, all the other stuff will come together. Thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and believe it or not, you are, you are sitting in the company of individuals that, that believe in pouring into people. So when you know you have one of those moments and you need a word, you need to hear something, you know, you are, we just a, 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 a DM away uh, from saying, hey, can you talk for a bit? Uh, that's one of our gifts. That's what we love to do. And, and, and we, we hear it. We right here. I know y'all are big support for me, so. Is it anything that you want to say to your listeners? You want to get off your chest, tell anybody, or just fans. you have five minutes to do your thing right now. Whatever you want to do, <laughs> oh, five minutes. <laughs> oh, five minutes. You got whatever you want to do. I it's just want to say thank you to everybody that has supported me throughout the years, who's followed me, um, that sends me the messages. Hey, are you singing anywhere tonight? And when I say no, you're like, really? You know. So I'm thankful for everyone who's been with me through this journey. Um, and if there's anybody out there looking for a singer, you need somebody, hit me up. <laughs> this is my full-time job now, so trying to make moves and make this thing happen. But I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to even say thank you to my haters. If it wasn't for you, you know what I'm saying, that, that right there is a push to say, I'm going to show you what I can do, who I am, and, and what it is. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, hope to see y'all out pretty soon at one of my shows. And come rock with me in chemistry. That's the name of the band. Um, Got Mr. Alex Rogers on bass, uh, Taz Fields on drums, Daryl Sanford on keys, and um, Steve O, Steve Bethany on lead guitar. And I work with a lot of other great musicians who are all over the city doing their thing. So anytime you hear about live music, guys, just support um, because it makes us feel good when we see you guys enjoying what we're giving to you. So, hey, thanks for the love. You heard that directly from the Queen, uh, Carmen. And matter of fact, um, Are you 
Yeah. You know what? I believe Maya probably is. Jack Jack probably not. <laughs> but Maya, yeah, she stay on social media. Jack. She Jack got probably got. She's starting to like boys. Wrong. Oh. How, how old is she now? Oh, really? She's 12. Oh. oh. That's about the time it starts. I oh. know. You know, I used to have a different boyfriend every other day, Chad. <laughs> Look, I got I this. I got this. I got this right here in the closet. Let me know. You. <laughs> uh, uh, I already know. All right. I go right on over to their house talk to them. Lord, 12. 12. Yeah. How old Jack? He's seven. Gosh, he's 12. Yeah, this is her first year at the public school. She's at Columbia, so I just been like, Praying it all that work out. And she's doing really good. She's a major right there in the choir. I heard that. Yeah, so she's trying to do her thing. I've been trying to look at the moves like, hold up. We'll get some wrong. My dad was like, she can't do something else. I was like, well. Hey, baby, they said no more caffeine for you. <laughs> Who is that? He went to Starbucks and didn't bring me nothing. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey. That's, that's the secret, caffeine. That's the secret. So, uh, Carmen, let's go back to the papers. <laughs> I love my critics. If you don't have critics, you cannot be successful. You cannot have a bunch of cheerleaders in your corner all the time. I had to learn this the hard way. Yeah. And uh, you need them haters. Yeah, you do. You know, some of the people, and the, the crazy thing is that I can say is it's been people that I've looked up to my whole career that I've followed. And, you know, in some sense when I was younger, wanted to be just like them and just to see how my season where I am now, they don't care too much about Carmen and what Carmen, you know, it's kind of like a hate thing. And it's just like, it's crazy. We all can win, we all can do. I looked up to this person, you know what I'm saying? So you have that and it makes you strong to just say, you know what, we ain't gotta like each other. You ain't gotta like what I do. Mm -hmm. I still love what you do. Uh, and, and it's sad, but it, it's the truth. So that's why I say you have to have tough skin. Um, but there are those who have been in my path who given me, you know, advice, you need to change this, do that, and I tried to make those adjustments. And you got those that just want to tell you, you need to do this, do that, just so you can look like a fool. Well, you got to think about it. How can a stranger hurt you? They don't know you. So you it's got to be somebody close to you that hurts you, right. who knows how to hurt you. Right. And so uh, that's why you have to be careful when you, it's okay to be vulnerable, but you have to protect that to make sure you're not too vulnerable to let your guards down and get hurt. But you got to get hurt in order to make it. Yeah. It's, it sounds crazy. It's an oxymoron, but you have to get hurt by those people who say they love you in order for you to progress in life. And guess what? That turns out to be an awesome song. Hello. Mm. Hello. <laughs> I just need my credit. I'm a little very good. Hello. Tuned. Ow. Hello. Oh, okay. I, I totally agree. I just, you know, for, for people that's out there and they, they in situations or they stuck and circumstances, you just have to understand that where you are, that's where the devil wants you to be, that you're supposed to be. Because where God wants us to be, and the best situation that you're in is to meet the promises of God that God has on our life. Yeah. And you got to keep your faith. And you got to know that through it all, God's going to do what he said he's going to do. Because God can't lie. Right. It's just sure. about your promises and what you believe. Because it's going to be your faith that's going to get you through this faith. Absolutely. Yeah. It's your and faith. I, it's your faith. And I got to say thanks to my dad for instilling yeah. that and teaching us. You know, I'm a PK. So... Um, I was born and raised in the church, and at first, you know, he wasn't all that excited about me singing R&B, but then he got with it, you know, and supported me, so, um, you gotta have that. If you don't have that, you'll be messed up, and you'll believe what the haters say and decide to give up, you know, so. I want to say shout out to my little sister, um, Izzy. She's doing her thing. If y'all catch her at Mint, she's all over the city. Um, she's just a sweet person, and, and she's doing her thing, and I'm so proud of her. So if y'all hear that name, y'all check her out. Izzy. Izzy. Is it. Is it. Tell is it to come in the studio. <laughs> we can interview is it. So what we're, what we're trying to do this month, we're trying to highlight the, the, the artists. We're not trying. Well, you know, we're well, going we to. We do we say we're, I'm trying because you have to send an invitation and people have to accept the invitation. And we have to get over this fear of, you know, who you associate yourself with coming into the studio. Because we are not a podcast, we are, you know, we are, we are in a real CBS affiliated radio station. We are pumping out, I don't know how many kilowatts, but I know we got a 300 mile radius uh, picking up in here. And KWAM has a very, very successful track record, 45,000 listeners per show. So we're doing our thing up in here. So just how like Memphis, Tennessee, artist, singer, if you're out there and you want to come on this radio show, 
to um, just be a part of what we're doing for the month of October. Come on in. We got to do a little uh, domestic violence talk too, because this is domestic violence month. And uh, so we just want to try to do our part in the community. And we thank you for coming. Thank y'all for having me. I love, I love what you guys are doing. And I wish you guys were around when I, one of my favorite cousins, um, I call him my baby. Who? Um, Ow. Yeah. You know, he battled with his sexuality and it, it, it became a real issue to where we thought we wouldn't see him again. Yeah. But now he's living his truth and he's happy. And I want to say I love my baby Travis. Um, just be you, be who you are. And you know, people, they sometimes they feel like you associate yourself with somebody, you're that way. I am very happy with my friends who I am, and y'all know I love me some y'all. And never hate, you understand what I'm saying? Love people for who they are, accept them, and let them be them, and I love it, so. Well, you know, I, I, I said this downstairs, that uh, in the words of the great mayor, Dr. Willie Harrington, this is a hating city. And get so, in order to get the hell out of my office, or meet me outside so we can fight. But in order to get past this stuff, we gotta quit thinking so monolithic. Yeah. Just because an individual is uh, heterosexual or same gender loving does not mean that's all they think about. I think about that stuff maybe 3% of my day. Throughout my day, I think about making money. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you cannot be afraid to, to deal with people. I, you know, we have two heterosexual people in the studio. I don't care nothing about that. I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to come up. I'm trying to do my thing, and I'm trying to help people. And that's all about Because in the end, you could be heterosexual, homosexual. You could be a doctor. You could be a lawyer. You could be a GED or whatever. In the words of Fanny Lou Hamer, all this stuff 45 doing affects everybody. In the words of friend of Lou Hamer, ain't none of us free until we all free. Hello, thank you. And I'm in my gray area today. <laughs> I'll date them and they Yeah. <laughs> that means she a man today. Yeah. <laughs> that means mean I, I don't identify with nothing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, Justin, how many minutes we got left? She hit that note that time. One more time, Glenn. Uh, I want to do the challenge again. We'll do the challenge at the end so we can turn the music up. So, look, I need everybody to go to our Facebook. Stay on Facebook. Go to Instagram. We're going to do our challenge at the end of the show. Live, raw, and uncensored. No. We're going to do the challenge in the studio. But, Carmen, say something. You got one minute before we get off the air. Hey, continue to support Memphis Music, and I love you guys. That's 10 seconds. Oh, well, <laughs> and your whole minute. We're going to take it on now. We only got for two minutes. How many minutes we got? We got two minutes. But no, catch Carmen live. Wins is at Onyx. Onyx what time? At, uh, 6.30. What's at Belvedere and Madison? Right at Belvedere and Madison. Right at the corner. $5 drinks. $5 drinks. $5 drinks. $5, drinks, $5 appetizers all night long. Make sure when you get you a cocktail, you should be responsible. Because they get you wrong. Mm, hello. And this right here? The Elixir, you can meet us at Opera Memphis, 6745 Wolf River Parkway, this Saturday, 8 p.m. You can get your tickets online, and it's called The Elixir. And you can book karma for weddings, for men's folks, films, all of that. Well, we made it. We did it again. If you want to get in contact with us, hit us up on social media. Follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. I'm David Clemens. This is Gwen Clemens right here. We got Eddie Wilde in the studio. We got Justin in here. We got Carmen Hicks. Follow us on social media. Follow, follow, follow. Because we about to do some great things. We about to take over the world. And uh, Justin, let's take us up out of here with this challenge. We're going to get out of here with the challenge and bump that thing. We're going to do the challenge. We're going to go out with the challenge and we're going to get that thing crunked with the, with the challenge. With the challenge. With the challenge. With the challenge. Mm-mm. Hey. See y'all hey. next Saturday. We getting hey. out of here with the challenge. Hey. It's going to be a food challenge. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I like barbecue with my pizza. Put some salt on it, too. Oh. You want to mix sauce with it, too. And then give me a large Dr. Pepper. <laughs> He has a popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> they be like flapjacks. <laughs> he like one of he like them on his back.
Bye, y'all. We got to get out of here.